Howdy all, how's everyone doing today? I'm the Cowboy from the Cosmos and welcome back to another Risk video. So today we're going to be playing some more Risk, obviously. I wouldn't be doing a video on this game if I wasn't playing more of it. But yeah, we're going to first shrink this back down. <laughs> Hopefully you all uh, like that intro, maybe. Maybe you didn't. Um, but yeah. So today, the idea for this video is to hit top... Not this video, but... It's a process we shall start going into to grind towards the top 100 rank on the ladder using free from multiplayer. For anyone who knows how broken the um, ranked ladder is, obviously hitting top 100 by not doing 1v1s is pretty impressive as is, but uh, the end goal is maybe we can even get to top 10. I haven't heard of anyone who's gone to top 10 using free from multiplayer before, um, because 1v1 is just so dominant, there's no way for you to do that. But I think if anyone has a chance of making a crack at it, it'll be me. Of course, if it starts to become unfun on the grind and I'm not enjoying the process anymore, I will just simply stop doing it. It's that simple, really. Um, and I'll let you guys know. Probably be streaming my attempts to crack up the rank ladder, more for validation to show that I'm doing it through free-for-all. We shall see. Anyways, let's get right into a match, shall we? So, um, the first settings I wanted to try out, that I've been using- I tried a few games earlier, they're pretty fun, they worked out well. Wither was Earth 2209 AD, Progressive Cards, uh, Blizzard's Off, Fog of War Off, Ranked On, obviously, because we're doing a Ranked Grind. I filter Beginner or Higher with Alliances On. And yeah, these are settings I like. I throw one AI in, because usually AIs have enough of a variability within them that they prevent players from capturing the really juicy continents. Which is really good, because obviously people getting turn 1, turn 4, anything like that continents can be very good on this map. So yeah, I'm going to cut to whenever we get to a game, and I'll see you all there. Perfect. Alright, so now we're back. We got ourselves a full lobby right here. Game time is starting in, you know, countdowns, whatever. Four seconds till we get going. Uh, I checked my opponent's stats beforehand, they all seem somewhat uh, new to the game. None of them have above a 30% win rate, I'm quite sure. Which is good for me. Uh, during the series, I don't plan to handpick my opponents, though. I don't really give a shit who I face. I played a few games to test out these settings earlier today, so my rank is slightly over the top 500 currently. It's like top 470 or some shit. Um, and I was facing people who had like thousands of games, and it still was pretty consistent that I was winning. So these settings I think are very good, because they show skill above just simply, you know, getting lucky. So right now we're just watching for what our opponents do with their turn, and hopefully it's not too bad for us, eh? So currently, um, by our position looking, we have a great take on North America. Our opponents here, yellow seems to be very aggressive, making lots of attacks. They have 20 territories already. That is a lot. I have 15 to start my turn, which is quite good. And yeah, yellow is literally hitting everything. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I think early game, I'm going to try and take a North America hold, but I would like to keep an exterior somewhere else. Um... But I don't know where that is, so right now I think just full sending North America might be the play, actually. Make that a 4 there. Make this a 6. Take out the 2. If we lose some troops, that's fine. But I really don't want green player trying to establish himself in my continent. So we'll see how everyone else makes their turns here, right? We got pink player next. Um, so I guess I can introduce everyone here. We have James Cisco 33 with a couple hundred games played. He has the most games, I believe, out of everyone here, and he's also super, super aggressive early on. So I don't know how I feel about that. We have in second place General Chow, who has only a few games, shortly under 100, so not too, too threatening, but not way too strong, uh, or not way too weak either. Fourth place, we have Hugo Vin. Uh, how do I say that? Vigneron. With over a thousand games played, so this guy has a lot of games. Actually, more than Yellow. I didn't know that. But it's a worse record overall. Okay, he's making his attacks there, so he's going for that continent early on. Alright, alright. I see you. That's not too, too bad. Um. 
Yeah, that's not terrible for me. That's a pretty good position for me to have him on. He's not close to me at all. He's basically as far away as he can be, actually. Only place further would be, like, lower Africa in the South Africa continent. AI is going to try and maybe fuck him over. That'd be pretty good. No, AI wants that continent. Okay, that actually is fine, too. And then in the final place, we have Ned Sutherman. With just over 250 games played, a pretty terrible record, though. So I don't expect anything too crazy from Mr. Ned here. Right now, um... I have no clue how Pink feels about my attempts to take North America. Haven't tried to stop me, but also haven't tried to help me. Oh, Ned's actually going to take this continent. Ooh, I like that play a lot. That's a very well played from me. Yeah, I'm going to give him that. Well played. I like that. That's a really good play. I don't know if the AI lets him hold it, but... He's looking pretty good. All things considered. I have 13 territories still coming into my next turn, unless Yellow decides to change that. I think Yellow brings me under 12 here. <laughs> Shit. Because, yeah, it's, Yellow's going to try and take that continent, unless they hit the 2. But I think they hit my 1, and then Green's 1. Green's 1, do they hit the 2? If they hit the 2 and then lose enough troops. 2 on 1, they're going to do it. They fail it, though. Let's go. We have 12 territories. Oh, you fucking asshole. Never mind. No, we don't. He had another two-on-one. That's really strange. So yellow player's hyper-aggressive. They're trying to get an advantage by having so many territories early on. Which is interesting. I don't know if it will work, but it's certainly something you may attempt to do. So... I'm probably going to prepare myself now for taking pink out of here soon. I really hope they'll move... I want to try and signal to them, I want them to move, please. But besides that, I don't have a lot of options. I'm not going to try and threaten green. I'm going to move off of the border, so that green doesn't feel like we have to be enemies. Also, my nose is really itchy while recording this. Very unfortunate. I don't want it to look like I'm sick or something. I did get over that. Um, I plan to start streaming more and recording and putting more effort into my YouTube now. Because now that I've conquered that and I have the webcam and everything, we're in a pretty good position overall. Okay, so Pink takes that content. Pink does not move that three out of there. That fucking sucks. Oh well. A lot of players are going to start having continents soon. Hopefully our friendship with them will pay off. I might start making efforts as well to take the Lower Americas continent. Let's see what the AI does. Okay, AI just does simple stuff their turn. They're not doing anything crazy. Just gonna hit, hit over here. Do they break, Mr. Green? They're bringing yellow down a few territories, but not enough, it doesn't seem. Yellow's gonna slowly uh, have a lot of territories and troops and snowball. If they're smart on this next turn, they may take both of those continents down there, which would be very scary. That'd be way too powerful, in my opinion. Oh, brutal loss for Green there. Green hits a 4 on 2. I wouldn't have done that. Then does a 5 on 2 though and loses nothing. So green makes their money back. So let's see. If yellow's smart here, they put everything on the one territory. Uh, this one. But they're not smart, so they don't do that. They're going... Oh, wait. Did they bot out? No, they're a player. So they're going to do 3 on 1 and 6 on 2. 6 on 2 is guaranteed. They lose some troops, though, but the 3-on-1 isn't guaranteed. They don't roll it, though, so they're going to be a bit slower. Okay. This player might be better than I thought for reasons I wasn't thinking of. Because they're slow and calculating. I like it a lot. So I'll put a 5 there as kind of an equal threat guard to kind of tell people to fuck off. But besides that, I like where my stacks are all set up. And we'll see now if our friendship players will last. So we're going to throw up a heart towards green player. And maybe they consider us a good friend. And don't break us. Pink takes down there. Pink is Australia. They're going to start going towards South America. I like that. I think that's very good. 
Um, ooh. Okay, so they own that territory. You know what? I think for this game, I'm going to have to put the webcam somewhere different. I can't put it on that side too far. Maybe I shrink it a bit? Yeah, that works. There we go. That's better. Okay. Because now I can see everything, and you guys can too. Because unlike PC recorders, I see my webcam on my screen, and it physically obstructs things. So. Have to get used to that, obviously, still growing pains, um, but it's not looking bad. The blue AI is what I'm worried about. I hope they don't just set in in North America to break me, but I consider it unlikely. This one seems to be a continent grabber. Okay, Red's pulling his troops out. I like it, I like it. Perfectly good move. Oh no, Red's actually trying to take that continent, or at least start working towards it. Okay. That's leaving the AI a lot less options. Hmm. Wonder where the AI will go. Probably somewhere if it's threes on it, but... Okay, does the AI break green? AI breaks green. And it succeeds, too. So green has bigger issues to worry about than me. That AI over there, its forces will become a problem if I let them. So I have to worry about that. I think green retakes here against the AI. Yeah. Okay. And then fortifies. Cool. So yellow is the last player to go. I think yellow takes their second continent here if they're smart. And then on my turn, I'll probably do the same as yellow. Take a continent, hang out, not do anything crazy. Yeah, I like that play a lot for myself. So this game's going to turn into a big continent uh, stage. However, yellow player has a huge advantage over everyone because of how many territories yellow's had up until this point. Like, look how fast they've snowballed. And they have good continents now. They win that roll. Like, they're set, dude. They're so strong. Okay. So, I have to be careful, then, about them. Let's see. Can we win this 3-on-1, please? Nice. Then I take this continent early on. I think that's correct. Move my five away from green so I can defend against AI. I think that players need to start removing yellow from more positions that aren't his continents because otherwise he will snowball so fucking fast. Oh wow, okay. So pink matches an early here. Taking the early match. I assume this is for the continent grab, correct? Yes. This is good. This is good. This removes yellow from South America. So as long as I remain good friends with pink here, we should be fine. Yeah? Throw up a little heart. We good, pink? We are. Great. Pink's my friend. Pink's my friend. So, um, AI is very, very weak and should be looked at to kill soon, um, if it doesn't match on three. AI might match on three, and that would be a problem. But it's not looking too bad overall. I'm kind of liking our current situation. Ooh, I'm liking this a lot. Does he try and kill the AI now? No way. So who gets the AI kill? Green? Green does. No. Wait, yeah. If green's smart, they get the AI kill. Although I don't like how much he's just suiciding this AI. I think that's dumb. I don't know if this is a very good player. AI matches in though. Ah, oh, shit. Does it break me of the 7 on 5? That would be so rough, dude. Please don't break me. Oh my fucking god, of course. Oh, but it fails. Oh, it fails. This is really good for me, then, that it failed. Otherwise, I'd be in a very bad position if it won that.
and see if that one card turns out to be worth it for him. I think it was good to still kill though, because one card at this stage is worth more than the expenditure cost of killing the AI. It just slows him down a little bit for the moment, but he's at the five cards now, and he's still strong, so I think that's very correct of him to do that. I think next turn I equalize my borders of everyone, so, you know, whatever they have bordering me, I just put the same out bordering them. Pink is very threatening to yellow here. Yellow is afraid of pink, and that makes sense, because pink technically surrounds yellow on both ends of his continents, and then he has red uh, there. I'm furthest away from yellow, which is really good. Because yellow is the powerhouse of this group so far. I am actually the weakest player here by a significant margin. So I might even be encouraged to match in early here. But I think I don't. Oh wait, I can't anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course not. That's fine. I don't need to match anyways. I have continents on my side. So we make this a three. Yeah. Make that a two. Make that a four. Then I make this, like, I don't know, five troops, maybe? Yeah. Make this six. And I'll start pushing out through this way. Oh, can you turn the light back on? There we go. <laughs> Apologies for that. Alright, we're looking good. So, uh, right now we're winning. In my mind, I think. Because we got back up to 29 troops. Like Our contents are very big and very strong. Sorry, my little brother just walked down here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're doing really well. Because, see, and even Pink is increasing his border size on this. Because he realized I just made it a 4. So I'm keeping at parity with him without threatening him. He's putting a 2 behind him, though. So these people might be better than I originally thought. Which is good. Because that means I don't think there'll be dumb suicides this game. I'm curious when players start getting into the point where kills are worth something, what happens? How do players um, go about those kills? Because the AI's already been eliminated, right? So, this has changed completely from what I'm used to seeing in progressive games. Normally, in, my, in the experience I've had of these settings, people don't kill the AI very quickly, and it expands and it grows very strong. This is the opposite. The AI got super, super weak, everyone killed it immediately, and now it's struggling to, like, sustain it. Or now players are struggling to break each other, because we're all friends. So this game might go a while. Which there's nothing wrong with, that's fine. Um... It just means that I don't see this match ending anytime particularly soon. Oh, Red, I have to break that if you win the two-on-one, dude. Oh, but he's pissing off Green, too. Interesting. Green matches in this turn. Okay, thank God that he didn't... Um, what's it called? Take that constant, because I need a card. End of the day. And it would be really bad if um, Red took the consonant. Oh, but I have to hit your four now, bro, because I need a card. Shit, what do I do here? Because I don't want to piss anyone off, right? I'm trying to stay friends with everyone, but I need fucking cards. This is progressive. Maybe if green breaks him, then I can get a card. Shit. I'm going to attack, tell red, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Is that okay? Like, I try. I don't want to break his continent. I think that will piss him off. No, but I need a card, dude. But I need a fucking card. Like, I don't want to break him and then have him mad at me, but I require a card. Is the fact of the matter. I can't not get a card at this stage in the game. They're too fucking valuable. I don't know. Yellow needs a card as well, so let's see what yellow does. See who he breaks, who he fucks up here. Because depending on what he does, changes how I can go about this scenario. 
Like, if he breaks pink, pink doesn't have an immediate punish on me, so I'm fine with hitting pink then. But if he breaks... Red, then I can also hit red, because they're the weakest player, right? However, he's so fucking strong, dude. That's insanity. This guy is very, very powerful. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So who's he hit? He hits green. Okay. So maybe I hit green then. Has green been voted off the island? I mean, he doesn't have a match in this turn. And his constants are slightly weaker than everyone else's. He wants me to attack yellow, but I fucking can. Across the map from yellow. That's a dumb request to make. Attack pink. Uh, but pink? I don't want to attack fucking pink. Pink's strong. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea to attack pink, honestly. I'm sorry I'm offline. Our alliance is over. Oh, shit. Okay, well, now I'm hitting AI for sure. For sure. Definitely hit you. Yeah, I'll attack green. Yeah, don't worry. Yep. Green is my new target. Great. So, which one do I want to hit? Uh, I may as well not open up the four to myself. That sounds stupid. Be kind of productive. There we go. Okay. I had to hit, like, at the end of the day, I kind of had to hit that. You know. Um, it w I need a card, and green was the available card. If yellow doesn't kill green on the next turn, maybe I kill green. Maybe I try for that. Because if green has the four cards to kill four, that's really, really worth it. So where does pink hit? Just over there, yeah? So red does not take that continent then. Like, no shot of it. Because pink's gonna hold right there. Oh, shit. Pink's actually doing more than just that. Is pink gonna break red? No. Pink's just making a statement. Interesting. I don't know if that, uh... The gutsy play will pay off, but we'll see. We'll see. 21 fucking troops, though. <sighs> I don't know, bro. And he matches in. Like, Jesus. I think he takes it back. I think he gets that consonant. Or he kills the AI here for the cards. Yeah, he's smart. He's a good player. He knows exactly what he's doing here. Shit. This is going to be a rough game. kills me with that if he's gonna try and snowball it. Ooh. It's not enough. And he's a good player, so we should know this. Yeah. He's gonna fortify. Take everything he wants. I think that's smart. Perfectly good play. I'm gonna have to break him though. I think I feed him the game if I don't do that. But like twenty one troops per turn and that was before he had that fucking continent? I don't know, dude. I think I break him though. I genuinely think I have to. We'll see what yellow does. Yellow may not want to get out on the conflict, and I would respect that play, or that thought. But personally, I just can't sit by and let him win, right? I think that's moronic and stupid. Because i probably die next. Just by assessing um, the board state currently. Maybe he breaks him here. Like, if yellow's smart, he breaks, for sure. Oh, he's breaking pink. Oh, shit. No, he doesn't. Okay. So, I'm gonna tell red, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Like, I can't let you have all this shit, dude. You're too strong. I'm gonna match in here to stay alive. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm just trying to do my thing. You know? Play my game. Be my strength do my needs um, but yeah sorry you hold way too much consonants I can't let you hold it all I need a card it's progressive bro 
He's still a very, very strong player, so it's not like this prevents him from doing well. It just puts him in a weird position going forwards. He has two really big consonants either way. Because what? What's the value of these? Um, if we look... Russia is a plus 7, and Western Asia is plus 7, so he has a plus 14, and then he also has a bunch of territories. Yeah. He's looking very good. <laughs> Apologies if you hear my family. I really thought this would be a good time to record, because not a lot of noise, but apparently I'm wrong and stupid, and there's going to be a ton of noise, so whenever is it quiet around here, I guess, eh? Um... Hopefully it's just not too bad. Yeah, red player seems to be mellow about it, though. He's not mad. He's just kind of like, yeah. You know what? You need to take. Fine. Does he retake the continent, though? <coughs> yeah. And he has ten armies holding the borders so that I don't break him. Interesting. So he's getting greedy. He wants that full, like, giant continent here. See if people let him have it. I think yellow, though, needs to attack red. I think you need to break him, dude. I think if he doesn't attack red, we lose this game. All of us. Because red's just so fucking strong, dude. You need to attack red, bro. And not just, like, some dumbass little, oh, I hit, like, a one. Like, he needs to seriously attack this guy. Break his shit. I'll tell Pink the same thing. Because we're going to lose. Like, that's the position we're put in. These contents are so big that they do start to matter. If people just let them hold. Yeah, hit the two. Fuck me, of course you don't. <sighs> well, I can't break him. Like, I'll just lose then. Fine, whatever. No, you attack fucking red. No. You attack red. I'm not attacking red, you asshole. You didn't do anything. Fuck off. I hate people who do that shit. Who don't help out and then immediately turn around and say, You do it. Fuck you. You are doing nothing to help this situation. Whatsoever. I am not going to help you. Because you aren't helping me. And that's the fact of the matter. I don't know, I feel threatened by red. So I'm just putting shell my bigger borders next to him. <sighs> yeah, I think he needs to attack red. If pink hits red hard here, that's really good for us. If he like breaks his shit. Yes, yes, very well done. Good shit, God fucking damn it, are you serious? My dog has to be barking now? <laughs> that's crazy. Alright, reset the camera. I think he's, uh, he's not over-attacking, actually. No, he's fine. Although red, yeah, yellow of the match is going to be looking very good. But I think pink makes a correct play here. Red needed to be broken or else we all lose. And now red's stripped of a lot of his continents. So he's not making this retardedly high amount of troops each turn. Which would just give him a free win if he was. He had two plus sevens, and he had a, what's this, like a plus four or five in this side over here? Plus four, yeah. Why do I have that turned on? Weird. Yeah, this red's gonna break uh, pink back after retaking. An expected outcome. He isn't gonna let him hold. He's gonna retake his consonant with that attack. <coughs> Interesting. He still can't match this turn, though, so I think you know. We'll see what happens. Now you get to attack red. Attack red. You don't get to boss me around and then not do it. He gets to attack red if he wants to. Pink put in his, uh, his like, hand in the hat there to help out. And I think that was correct as fuck. That was absolutely the right play by Pink. So... Pink, if in some weird universe you end up seeing this video, um, yeah, that was good play. Well done. I think if red's allowed to hold everything, we all just lose. Oh shit, is yellow gonna take this continent now? 
God fucking damn it, of course. So yellow's becoming a titan then. Ah, Really? Fuck me, dude. Wow. Brutal. And my easiest takes on a fucking pink six? Like, are you kidding me? Ugh. So, this is so frustrating. This position I'm in. I don't even have a good take here. Everything's like a 10 or up. I have to hit the pink. Like, because I need just an easy take. I don't want to piss him off. But I, he doesn't have the constant anyway. So... It's like, I don't really have a choice, dude. I need a take. I don't know why he put the 6 there anyway. That was just a bad placement. Hope he's not mad at me and, like, smashes through my shit. I think that would be a bad play if he did. But, oh, he's hitting yellow now to weaken yellow. Okay, so he understands that I needed the take, and he's also understanding yellow's going to win now. So... Pink player's actually really fucking good. What's your score? That's... That was pink player? Shit, dude. This guy? He's making such good plays. I mean, I don't think you need to open a 21 or anything, but he's just, like, a trooper. Like, he, he understands what game balance is, and he's leaving troops behind, too, to make it more painful for fucking yellow to retake. That's some, like, high-level strategy, dude. Leaving landmines behind? Although now I think he's pissed everybody off, so I have no clue if he'll hold anything, because both red and yellow are mad at him. But, that's some fucking, like, high-level shit, dude. What a, what a badass. Wow, okay. Well, we got a really fucking good player here, then. I don't know why he has such a bad record. Maybe it's because he does good plays like this and then loses in the late game because everyone's mad at him. Because that's the predictable outcome uh, when playing with people who don't understand what game balance is. And they lose their mind over it. But these guys have also like not gotten too mad at me hitting them. So who knows? I guess we just have to see how the outcome plays. Okay, so he breaks there. Which means I can use that for a card take, so that's perfectly fine for me. I have no clue what yellow does, but I think yellow just retakes everything on his turn. Who can I kill? Uh, red would be the closest to a killable player. But not like... Actually, red's actually not too hard to kill. If you think about it. <clears throat> just because of where red's troops are located. Comparative to, like, mine. I don't have a set on three, but that's fine. I probably wasn't going to set in anyway. Now, let's see how good this yellow's blitz is. So far, it's not bad. He's only losing one troop per hit. Losing nothing for that. So, loses one troop. Yeah, if he lost, like, two or three troops per hit, then it would be better. But now he gets broken. This is what I was talking about. Because now, obviously, yellow is upset that pink broke him. So, he's going to tell pink to fuck off. Which I think does more overall damage than good. Especially uh, if he does that. Yeah, okay. I have to see, like, when I want to go for a kill, it has to be worth it. You get what I'm saying? Like, there has to be a continent, or, sorry, a card value high enough. And right now, it's just the cards aren't worth enough juice for that. Like, even if I was to match in and kill red to match afterwards, I'd still be weaker than I was beforehand. So we've transitioned to this weird, almost like fixed late game, where everyone's super strong, super powerful, and we have to figure out how to keep the games balanced from there on out. Yeah, pink got really fucked over by fucking yellow there. That really hurt him hard. He'll start making less troops than each of us, making him the weakest player. I'm not set up in a great way to kill Pink, though. I don't really have anything significant bordering him. All of my strongest stuff's bordering red, just because of how red is. Because technically, since map loops on itself, me and red are on both left or right sides of each other. Pink bots. Okay. This is actually really good. I think Pink leaving the game is actually the best possible outcome 
from that because pink's position was already fucked anyway but by pink leaving the game the bot can now help establish um equalization among everyone and bring the game back to parity and it also means i don't have to pretend to border someone and be like oh hey there you know i'll hit you if you hit me i can just straight up border him now which is what i've been doing with red for the longest time so that's good for me from that kind of standpoint I match in, I probably put everything to border against pink, I think. This doesn't piss off red then. And maybe if pink hits people hard enough, I can go for a pink kill. Or if people hit pink hard enough, because it's a bot, it's going to piss someone off. At the end of the day, that's what it will do. It only has three cards though, so it didn't match last turn, meaning it probably doesn't match this turn. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's see how this goes. Yellow's making 27 fucking troops a turn. That is insane. How any player is allowed to make that many in a fucking free-for-all world on Prague, I will not understand. Especially in this map. I totally did not see it going this way. But hey, you know what? Some games go way differently than you expect. Oh, he makes a big fucking hit on the bot. Massive hit. Massive, massive hit. Okay. He understands it's a bot. He understands it will fuck him over. Interesting. But he has five cards now as well. I don't know how to play against that. Like, I don't know what I can do to kind of weaken that player. But I think I have to just hope the pink bot sets in this turn. And does a great enough amount of damage. I don't need to feel bad about it. Right? Also, I'm sorry... Uh, Mr. Green, but I'm totally fucking hating that. <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> really? I don't know why you even put shit there. That was just stupid. I, I have to hit that. I don't really have a choice. Yeah, come on. I need a easy enough take, and you were the weakest number. Uh, bot sets in? No. So the bot's going to hit... Oh, it doesn't hit red at all? Wow, I really thought that 13 would hit something. No card on the bot? Interesting. Still a bot, yeah. Okay. Okay. That might not be as good then. I think yellow made a very good move hitting the bot, though. Because that almost guarantees the bot doesn't fuck him, since the bot was lined up to do so. I think red needs to hit yellow. I think we need to start weakening yellow. Yeah, I think he knows that we need to do that. No, he's going to get an easy take. Fuck me. Ah, does yellow win this game then? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. He is taking away from our shared border, though. So this tells me he's not my foe, at least. And that's really good. Because preferably I don't need to stack on him every turn, right? Preferably I can just do anything else besides that. Like. Because I'd really like to avoid having to stack on this guy. The bot not getting a card is brutal, though, for everyone else. Because it means yellow just wins even harder, because red is going to get hit by this bot for that 13. Probably. Probably. Like, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't do that, but I, th I think that's where this is going. Is yellow trying to kill the fucking bot? What's yellow trying to do? Well, let's watch. Let's see what his turn is. Just chill. Just chill. Okay. Let's see. Bot holds three cards, 91 territories. It's still not fucking worth it yet. Shit. Well, whatever. I say then, because the bot's not matching now, so, you know. How? How am I supposed to attack yellow? That doesn't even make sense. I can't hit him from here. You're in between me and him. Why would you tell me to do that? I can't actually hit yellow. 
I'd have to go through all of pink just to break yellow, and then yellow just is pissed off and sends that 49 my way. Okay, Buck gets a card. Four cards bought. Now it might be worth it, right? Do I have a match on three? I don't. Yeah, this will be a tough kill for sure if I want to nail it, but I don't think I do. Uh, maybe now that he opened the 30. Be a very tough kill, though. 30 and 57. I have my continent troops of 12 per turn. It's so, like I could do it, but then I exhaust all my resources for 60 worth of a match in, right? Like, the match is just not worth enough. That's my problem. I have to hit a 13, a 10, a 6, like a 7, and 5, 4s. I've hit a lot of shit just to get a fucking thing. Maybe if he blows through enough of this AI now. Like, if he tries to take the continent. Then it might become worth it. It's all based on what it costs me to kill this bot. Oh, he's preventing... No, he's just trying to make it worth it. Is that all he's trying to do? Uh, I don't see it being worth it yet. I see the bot matching in and just plowing through somebody. Right? Yeah, I don't see that being a good, a good play at all on my hand. But what I will do is just hit the bot a few times so that if it does match in, Hopefully, if it puts stuff there, it's just enough to take the continent. Right? Yeah, 60 troops, yeah. Yep, there we go. Yellow's gonna get hit hard. <clears throat> and see, now that 21 doesn't... It's not all coming my way, because it's split up into different areas. Hits there. It's going to take the continent. Maybe it breaks yellow. If it breaks yellow, it's really good for all of us. Takes. Breaks. Very, very good. See, yellow let this bot stay too strong, and now the bot's punishing him for it. And that's why I like bots, because they punish people for being dumb. And I would say that yellow has been suitably stupid throughout this whole match. So, the bot now borders me, and that's a problem. But I should have a match on four, correct? I do. So, I probably transition into a guard on both sides, both ends here. My easy take is probably on the 4 of the AI, and I just move the army up a bit. Bot won't match in this turn, so I'm mostly just on the defensive for now. Yellow probably matches in. Does yellow just fuck up the bot, stupidly? If yellow hits the bot like a ridiculous- Oh shit. Okay. This is a desirable endgame. Two AI now. Two of them. So I have to guard from all sources. Luckily I have the match in, which allows me to do that. So I just make every army too strong to be broken. And these AI will probably punch each other more than anything else, but we'll see. Okay. Both of them being bots is very good for me. Although I don't know how much so yet. Hmm. Can't kill yellow, but I think yellow's too distracted them being AI to care that I'm still around. Like, I think he... Or too distracted with the AI. And now be his downfall. Instead, he's not realizing they're, you know actual things now or they're not players anymore I think he still believes they're players and that will lead to a very big problem for him if you give it a few turns so I get my easy take on the red player here you know knocking out its continent so it's slightly less threatening all my positions are pretty well guarded and now the bots just mash into each other more than anything else I think Which is good. This is very good. As much as they hit yellow is also very desirable that they hit him a lot. 
Oh, wow, that's all they do? Okay, that's actually not bad. Red bot probably hits yellow. I don't see it doing much else this turn. It might retake its uh, Europe position. Otherwise, it just hits yellow, right? Oh, he's back. He's back. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll send in a lion's throw. Yeah? Okay. Cool. So, red player now has this position where the bot is very scarily strong around him. It's debating how to hit the bot. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, does he bot out again? He might just bot out again. This would be really good. If he bots, then I have the same situation as before. Hmm. He's trying to trick us into thinking he bought it. They're trying to trick yellow. Yellow's going to mash into this bot again. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yellow's kind of, like, dumb. Yellow just has red eye syndrome and just wants to hit this bot all the time. Which, that's fine. That actually helps me that he's doing that. Although, this late game's going to turn eventually into him hitting me. It's just kind of a matter of how long till he smacks me. <clears throat> Because I had the naturally weakest position of everyone here. And it was mostly because Yellow was able to take uh, shit ton territories early on, unpunished. And that let him snowball. So he hits his AI here. Yeah. How hard? He breaks it. Breaks both, probably. He doesn't even break both. Interesting. Okay. Um, you know, make this like a 50. Otherwise, it's 82. Yeah. And I just come down. Bonk. And I move the 15 into position to bring it down here. Red player gets fucked up by the AI. That's a problem. Because if red player's human now, I would preferably want them to find the most success in defense. They are alive, thank fuck. Okay. I think red player needs a yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow's a problem. You have hits on him. Yellow's distractive the AI. Let's all gang up on this guy. Right? Like, let's hit this jackass. Because he's busy playing with bots. Ha, <laughs> fuck me, of course. <laughs> well, I think the bot hits him. I think the bot hits him. Hopefully. Him being offline, like, is hopefully good for me. It really depends how much damage this red bot does towards yellow. Fucking none, of course. Ugh. Everything I need these bots to fucking do, they will not do. They're just hitting each other, and I don't need that. I need them both to be strong so that they fight this fucker. Ugh. Him botting out is so, like, loose cannon, too, because I don't know how, when he returns, I don't know if he will return this time. And I think he's just botting out so that, you know, he can come back when it's, after we've done the damage to each other. Which sucks, that's what I really fucking need to not happen here. <sighs> he's setting pink up to get killed by me. And I might have to take that kill. The problem is, is that pink's behind so many layers of walls, I can't really land it. Like, it's too deep inside of him, so... I need to break this asshole, though, right? Like, I kind of have to. I don't have many choices here. He's just too fucking strong. But he mashes troops mindlessly, and that's what I'm afraid of. Well, we are in progressive cards endgame here, so I think I play this like progressive cards endgame. So I break yellow. Um, do I have any other easy breaks of his without sending a shit ton of troops to my death? Those are all just worth so much, though. I have to break them. Too many troops per turn. 
I can't let yellow overpower us all that easily. Hopefully I can bait the 101 back on itself. And yeah, I have to hit that too. Um, if he just mindlessly mashes into me, then that's unfortunate, but I have to do that. I went super positive that turn too. I've caught up to his troop count now. And do I have the match on four? I do. AI matches in, and of course, it's just doing damage to fucking each other. Mm. I really need these AIs to be hitting the fucking player, but instead they're just kind of, you know, shunting into each other here. Which, I mean, I guess it's good for late game when they're all contained, but I think that this is just bad. Maybe Red Bot fucks me over and that suck. Does it match even? I don't think it matches. Yeah, no. Yeah, bots are just punching each other, so fine. I have to go to war of yellow here. If yellow doesn't have a match this turn, I'm in a really good spot. If he does, I'm kind of fucked. No match? Really good. He's gonna use his troops, retake his continents. I slowed him down severely, though, which was really my goal here. No player's slow, but if he really wants to hit that 101 on me, he will. He's gonna use the other 8 to take all that back. Does he just punch me, stupidly? I really hope not. I really hope not. Please don't just monkey me, bro. Okay, good. What do I do? It's just such a rough position to be playing from. I think I have to break him again, though. In the few I can. So I match with my cards, right? I'll make this a, like, 100 or so. I think that's about the most I can make it. Without just throwing away the game. If he hits me. Make these all 50s, and those should be enough to guard off the AI. And then I go back to war with him. So I didn't mean to zoom in, by the way, but whatever. No, 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 no. Fuck me, really? Game's gonna be like that? I have to weaken this yellow player, though. He's just so strong. I can't leave him to win this game super easily. So whatever. I'm not gonna hit the 13. That'd be a bad play. I am going to stay in my lane. And... Bring my troops back there. Hopefully red bot breaks his uh, North American position. Unfortunately, pink and red are just trading blows constantly. Thank God. Okay, he doesn't break. Red player, please fucking hit yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Stop fucking hitting each other. God damn it. Uh, of course, they just mindlessly wallop into each other for no reason. Yeah. Fucking yellow! Oh my god. Does yellow just hit me with that 190 now? Just fuck my game up. Yeah, yeah, okay, I have to just keep hitting yellow then, because he's just hitting me stupidly, yeah. He thinks he's getting a point across, but all he's doing is just encouraging me to break him more because of how strong he is, right? So, alright, if that's how you want to play, you want to swing your dick around, I'll swing mine around. This is a power move, motherfucker. Fuck off. I'm not letting you hold all this shit, you idiot. Come on, win this one. Win this. Fuck. Oh, whatever. I don't need the consonant too much anyway, anymore. Especially now if I'm constantly breaking all of his shit, then I don't need it nearly as much. 
Yeah, at least I can trust that these bots mashing into each other prevents Red from rejoining and just being like, Sup, fucker! And then, you know, ending my game. At least that by them punching each other, it means that Red's staying relatively weak. Well, I guess not if the fucking other bot's not gonna do anything. Do I have a match on three? No. Shit. Okay. I have to just keep breaking them too. Like, I don't have a choice. It's just break, break, break. That's my play every turn. Is he gonna try and break my other content? If he does, that's perfect. He opens me up. He opens me up. Yes, 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 yes. Doesn't open me. Okay. It's a better player than I thought. Shit. Um, well, I have to break him somehow because that's just such a strong offense to hold. Unless, maybe, because the... Oh, uh, but pink player's gonna retake again, and then red player's just gonna break, and it's just gonna be the same dumb fucking cycle they do, where they're not actually doing anything. Shit. He has four cards now. Yeah, I have to break him. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fuck. I have to open up a 72 just to break him again. Or else he just wins. Right? Okay, there we go. We broke everything there. I'm gonna take my shit off of Red's border now, I think. And I just need to find a way to grind this yellow player down, hopefully in the better than he can grind me down, right? See what I mean? But it's like this dumb cycle where the bots just take back their shit. Maybe Red now will hit fucking yellow, but I don't think so. I think it just keeps, yep just keeps on trucking on into this guy which could be good if I can kill pink at some point for those cards but I don't think red ever does enough damage I can because <coughs> pink's just too spread out right okay it hits a 16 this is really good though so it is expanding a bit into yellow now which is hitting yellow pretty hard right so now yellow's getting double teamed by me and the bot I already know Yellow's attack speed isn't great enough to kill me. So, we'll see. What does Yellow do? Does Yellow just try and retake everything and hit my 62? That'd be silly. Or does he just break me now? Yeah, okay, so he just resigned to not actually um, owning consonants, and he'll just break mine instead. Yeah. I think that's fine. These two seem to be permanently bots now, so I think I just kill Mr. Yellow here as much as possible. Like, just send into him, you know, hit him. If, but he's not opening my 50, sadly. If he opened the 50, I'd have the kill, probably. Like, if he opened those 50s, but he's not, right? So I don't have kills on them. So instead, I think I just make his life pretty tough. And I'm just going to annihilate most of his big stacks now. Yep, hit this. Go over here. I'm going to just take a bunch of consonants now. And I'm not going to try to hold them too well. But I'm just going to try and make Yellow's life pretty fucking rough for him. there and then yeah I'm liking this just move another stack down there I have a massive troop advantage on him even if it's set in I have I got really good rolls yeah okay yeah Bob breaks me for sure 
maybe bot hits yellow more that would be best case scenario instead of hits like his 18 or his 35 his 35 especially best case scenario okay so it's hitting his little ones that's fine mashes in the pink continues to do so yeah does it break me it doesn't break me looking really good also i'm holding the phone close to my face now because i'm like get this is like intense right this is focus time interesting so he's just breaking me still he isn't actually trying to smash my 16 and all that which i think would have been correct okay he's just not letting me hold though so he's going to break me and he's just going to keep my stacks from doing any like by opening them but that's fine i don't mind that too too much him not opening me is not a big deal I still make more than him per turn. I can still slowly outcycle him each turn. I don't care. <laughs> like, just flat out, I don't care. Does he circle back around and hit the 16 now? No, he's gonna hit the 50. Cause the oh no, he's just hitting everything. Okay, okay, okay. Um, mm, what do I care to do this turn? Do I care to do a lot? I guess I do this, so... Hit down here. I'll knock him out of this section of the map completely. Then I'm not going to open the 35. I'm going to head around here, retake my stuff, because I'm a lot faster than this guy is. So we take back there. Come on down here, and now I'm going to start opening myself up. So the stack currently threatening to be hit by a bot is that, so I'll just move it to face him. And he's slowly losing this battle. And he's too slow to kill me. Right? These guys have both fully botted. They're done done. They're not coming back. And so, just by doing my own thing is probably the best play I can do here. Is just fight this dude. Breaks. No, it hits the AI further. Okay. So this is where I also can start trying to consider um, killing pink, if it turns out that's possible. Might not, um, but we'll see. So he's just going to wail on me, yeah. Yeah. He tries to break everything. I think he succeeds too. I don't see him exactly failing that. He's really not trying to open me to hitting him. Which is probably correct. I wonder if he'll hit the 54, because it's opened. Like, because it's already there. He's ran out of half his time just leaving North Africa. Or so. We'll see. He's a very slow attacker. He's heading down. I think that's a mistake. I don't think you have the time for that. Yeah, you don't have the time for thorough hits, dude. You're running out of gas really quick here. He's not even going to hit my 54. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Oh, shit. What did I do to my camera? Um, fuck. Let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. Sure, that works for right now. Um, yeah. I just, you know. Sure. You do you, bro. I'm just going to take absolutely fucking everything. You have four cards, so you almost definitely have a match now. Um, and I don't really care that you do, to be quite honest. That's perfectly fine with me. This 50 is facing death soon, so I will t pull it out. I have the match on 4. Probably have this dude by the balls. This AI will be annoying to kill, but it's definitely doable. So, this is a lot longer of a game than I was expecting, but I think it's getting towards its end steps here now. I'm glad Red Player hasn't, like, left, rejoined, left, rejoined a bunch of times. I'm glad this seems to kind of be the final stop here, is that he rejoined once, and then he was done. Um, 
Because, yeah. Oh, fucking big hit. Let's go. I'm going to good game him right fucking now. Doesn't even matter. That's so, so done. Yeah. AI hit him. That's exactly what I fucking needed, dude. Let's fucking go. See, does he stay? Is he staying around to play? He is. Does he have the match? No match. You're definitely dead. He does. Okay. So he technically has more troops than me now, but I'm still going to kill him because he is by far the biggest threat to me. So unfortunately for him, he's definitely making good plays a lot of this game, but I think um, he's making a mistake by not hitting my 110. Because I obviously match in the next turn and I just hit him, right? Even if it's not obvious to him, it's obvious to me that is the correct play here. I just need him dead because he hates me and I hate him. So it makes sense to eliminate him off of the board. And then after that, I can go ream into the AI a bit and, you know, cause a little bit of confuddlery and chaos amongst them. But. Fuck you! Now. Now I must attempt to. Just kind of, you know, deal with some of this AI bullshit that's going on. Hit it there. I have a lot of the board, so I'm not looking bad. Looking pretty strong. Pink bot I probably can't kill anytime soon. Fuck me, why do I keep doing that to my camera? I can control, like, my camera, where it is and all that from there, but I keep accidentally tapping it, swiping on it. Is that bot? That is, wow. Very aggressive North America player. Or South America? No. Southern North America. <laughs> Okay, so red bot now, I will start to weaken over the next few turns, but my main focus is killing the pink bot, especially if red's gonna do fucking that, yeah. Totally. Totally, pink bot's fucking dead. <clears throat> okay, so what strategy should I use to kill it? I mean, I match in, right? Oh, I don't have a match, are you serious? Fuck me. Wow, okay. Well then... Um, Operation Break the Fuck Out of Red is a go. Yeah, that's the best play here. Okay. So we'll come over here. We'll get the entire continent. I'm just trying to take land, because obviously the more territories you have, the harder it is for an AI to do anything about you. It also weakens Red's position on the map, making it have less and less troop reinforce, which is really what all this is about. And then now I'll pull my army up to about here, because that's a pretty good split point to get pink afterwards, if pink doesn't set in. Both players still botted. Great. Pink player doesn't match. I kill pink next turn, set in again, and then I start working on red. Red makes a lot less troops, but matches in. That's fine. I don't actually care that he matches in. He can hit me, you can do whatever you want. I don't think it's going to create an effective guard against 140 troops. And so that's all that matters to me. It'll probably hit this fucking 22 anyway for the continent, right? Yeah. Yep. So I just win outright. Takes that continent, breaks Russia. Doesn't even matter. Yep. I win. Easy peasy. I mean, as soon as it was just down to me and another player, I had already won, but still. So we just come over here, um, hit that, and how many troops can we, do we need? Like 50 or something, right? Should be about enough troops. Yeah, that's perfectly enough. Possibly didn't even need that many, but I got good blitz rolls, so that's what I wanted as an outcome. Now I set in again, and I'll probably put all the other troops over here. So, start going around town, clobbering these stacks. Hitting them over and over and over again, taking as much land as I can of every passing take. Now we come down here and start carving out the AI from this section of the map. AI only has one card, I will have four. I will set in before the AI does. We're looking really good. 
I don't know if the other territory connects to that, but I know this one does. So I'll do that instead. I hit 60 on 50. Fail it, but that's fine. Move my 20 troops to right about there, I think. will be a good position. Match on 4, correct. Cool. Bot does a whole lot of nothing, and just opens me for a path to kill it all. Well, there we go. And then I just win this endgame. Alright then. Well, that's the match. That was a pretty long one. So, hey, at least we ended up winning, right? Good stuff there. Who were our opponents? So they were Intermediate, Beginner, Master, and another Beginner. So there, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to make it a little more fancy, do a bit more editing with this one. Hopefully that was good for you guys and you liked that. If you did, let me know, please, down below. It would be very appreciated. I want some feedback on how you guys like presentation of videos. Um, you know, it's very important to me that the product is both entertaining and fun. Um, Grinding up into the ranked, as you can see currently, I'm sitting at 440 in my rank on the Grandmaster list. So that's not terrible. Um, obviously, the rank ladder is a complete joke. This is more I would like to if it is theoretically very nice to hit top 10 of free for all only because no one else does has done it, or at least not for years since 1v1 became meta. So it would be highly impressive, which is kind of the feat here I'm going for, right? It's the same reason why I'm back-to-back -back finaling tournaments, stuff like that. It's just to prove it can be done. So, with that all out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. And I hope you all have a great day. Good luck out there, gunslingers.